Hey guys, I'm Rich. Welcome to another Halo Reach action figure review. Today I'm going to be reviewing the brand new Series 6 June unhelmeted action figure. Now in case you're wondering, on the packaging it does say June, and that's it. There's no unhelmeted version or anything like that, which I think is probably not the best idea because if people search through like eBay or EntertainmentEarth.com or other places like that, it might be kind of hard to come up with the right results, but whatever, it's not a big deal. Speaking of which, if you guys are interested, I'd like to say this now. If you're like, if you're interested in picking up this figure and you don't have one in your area available, um, you guys can always go check out EntertainmentEarth.com. Link is in the description. It'll take you right to the June figure, unhelmeted June here, and then you can uh, decide if you want to buy it from there. Anyway, this figure, I personally, I thought Jun was a really cool character in the game. I probably didn't think he was as cool of a character as some other people thought because some people think he's like the new Boba Fett or something, but he is still cool. Um, now, I think one of the problems was he didn't get a lot of uh, character development time as like George and Carter did, so probably if he would have had more time um, in the game, Halo Reach, to kind of uh, be described and shown and stuff he probably would have been an even cooler character. But he was one heck of a shot. Except the one time that he shot me in the back while I was playing. I didn't appreciate that one little bit. But anyway, uh, June here is basically the same figures that we had in the previous, I think it was in Series 3, he came out originally. It's basically the exact same body. No battle damage, no nothing. Um, he comes with the same sniper rifle and a frag grenade. The only thing that's different with this one is that you get him without a helmet versus with a helmet on. Uh, so uh, some people would probably still prefer the helmeted version. Some people would prefer the unhelmeted. So they kind of give you both. I personally would have preferred that they included the extra head with it, but that's neither here nor there. The sniper rifle is still a pretty rare weapon. There's not a lot of figures that come with it. And this thing is huge. Look at that. That is a huge gun. Massive. Awesome. And the sculpting that McFarlane does on these new weapons for the Halo Reach line, well, they're not new anymore. They've been out for a while, but to me, they're still new. But they're, it's amazing. And it's way higher quality than it was in Halo 3. I was looking at my collection not long ago uh, for my Halo 3 stuff, and I'm just looking at the Reach ones. I'm like, man, McFarlane really stepped it up with the Reach uh, figures and the weapons. Not to mention the paint jobs for Reach stuff. is still It still blows my mind, just because you look at other action figures in the stores, and, and you see them, and they've got really plain, basic paint jobs, nothing really good with, with the details, even in the sculpting. And then you look at McFarlane's stuff, and you're like, you know, I understand why they charge an extra, like, $2 to get the figures, because they look outstanding. They really do. Um, now, with the unhelmeted version here, on the packaging, they do show Jin's face like it would be in the game. And they do have the tattoo here on the side of his face, and that actually looks pretty good. Um, other than that, I mean, I'd say it's a pretty good representation of taking the video game character and making it a toy. I would say that they did a pretty good job with that. So, overall, I would say that he's going to get a 5 out of 5 rating as far as it looks pretty good. Um, it, it may not look the most realistic, but, you know... It is still something to be said to take a character that was made, oh my goodness, in a video game and then make it a toy and expecting it to look just like the toy, or just like the video game version. It's just going to be difficult. Um, so, like I said, he does come with a sniper rifle, uh, which does have a weapon peg, but you can't really use it uh, to put on his back because of the uh, extra bits that he has here. Um, you can kind of move it up and probably get it in there, but, you know. And then he does also come with a frag grenade, which you know, kitties, it has to go on the left butt peg. It's just the way it is. If you put it on the right, I don't know what's wrong with you. Unless you got two, and then you have to. But anyway, uh, very cool figure. <laughs> very cool figure. Um, definitely worth picking up if you really like this character, which I know a lot of people do. Um, I believe that there are two of these per case, so there will be more of these going around. Um, so you have a very good chance of finding one or, or getting one online or something uh, compared to some of the other figures, you know, in the case. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching, commenting, and subscribing. Let me know down in the comment section what you think about this figure. Um, do you guys think that it was worth making an unhelmeted version of, uh, well, at least four of the members of Noble Team? Um, couldn't really do Noble Six because they never showed his face, and Emil, they never really showed his face either. I know they did in a little bit, but they didn't really. So anyway, guys, let me know down in the comment section what you think. And this sniper rifle is awesome. Awesome. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching, coming, subscribing. See you guys again next time. Well, you'll see my hands, and then I'll be talking to you with my super awesome voice. All right, guys. <laughs> see ya.